Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to display the errors on the form. So when we submit the form and we don't put uh, anything here. Right now we just redirect back. So let's add the errors. And if you go to the Laravel documentation, we have this example to show all the errors up here. Or we can do one by one, which I want to do is this one. So we display the error for a title, for a name, for anything, okay? So let's copy this and go to the create blade in the categories. And after the div, I'm going to add this one. And this is going to be for the name error and add the input name. So the name here, we have name and the same thing we added here. I will display the message, just change the class because we are using Pylon CSS. So let's say text small and also text red 400, I'm going to say. Now you can also add the error in the input. So let's save it. And if I go here, refresh, store. Yeah, we have this name, but we can also highlight this one. And let me just run the npm run watch to watch for the changes we made. So in the in the input, we need to add also this class. So let's add it to the end. And if we have the error for the name, I'm going to say border red 500. Let's save it. And the refresh, quickly store. And yeah, now we have the name field is required and also we added the red bugger, uh, border. So the same thing I'm going to do for the others. So let's copy this one. And uh, now here we have the image. Let's add it and say image also for the text area for the description and change the name to be description. Okay. Also, if you want to add the error for border, now this is uh, up to you. So just Go here, add it. Go also to the text area and save. Come here, refresh, store. And yeah, we have uh, just why we don't display the error for description because I, now we are okay. So refresh. And yeah, we have errors for all of the fields. The same thing we are going to do for the edit form. So let's copy this one, go to the edit and do the same. Here, here we have the name and say name also here for image. And for description, save it, close this one, close also this one, and go and check. So if I leave it this blank and say update, yeah, the name field is required. Good. Now let's do this for the others. So let's go to the menus, create, and here we have the name. So after the div, 
add there for name now for the image also for the price and for the description okay now we can add also for categories but we don't uh, validate the category sorry so let's save this let's go to the edit menu and do the same thing so here up here say name say uh, image here add the price and the description okay save close this one and do the same thing for the reservation and after that for the table so for the reservation we have first name so first name okay last name now good email phone number and you remember you need to add the name here this one okay so let's say telephone description uh, number sorry and the reservation date which is RS date US number West number and also the table ID let's save it close this one and go to the tables create the same thing here so add the name down there the quest number okay uh, status and the location save do the same thing for the edit and we are done so in here name quest number okay status and the location let's save it close this one and go and test one by one go to the menus uh, create new menu store and we add fields required go back go to the edit remove the name say update and yeah we added here just i not added the a border so you can if you want you can do that i show you for the categories so here I added a software border red. Now go to the tables, new table, and yeah, we have errors also here. I, if I remove store, yeah, go to the reservation, new reservation, store reservation, and we have all the fields. Good. So that's it for this video, friends. How to display the errors, and see you in the next one.